This next question comes to me from Mike. Mike says, I am going through radiation and chemotherapy. Is there any truth to the glyconutrient theory? Will a colon cleanse help me? I am continuing with chemo by pill. Is there any hope for me? Mike, there's always hope for everybody. It doesn't matter what you have. I mean, you're already obviously gone through chemotherapy and radiation. Personally, uh, as far as the glyconutrient theory, there's a lot of theories on glyconutrients. I actually use glyconutrients. I think glyconutrients are natural in the body. They're produced by the body, and I think that they're, that they're very effective. Now, if you're talking about using glyconutrients in specifically for cancer, like brain cancer, uh, they, they can be effective. They help carry and transport some of the other substances uh, past the blood-brain barrier. But here's my take. Any chemo and radiation is damaging to the body. It's poison. It's chemo is, de is developed in World War II, and if you look up the definition of chemotherapy in the Merck manual, it says mustard gas. I mean, chemotherapy is, is a very toxic substance. So you ask about colon cleansing. I mean, not only colon cleansing, Mike, but I think you need full body cleansing. I mean, the problem, when people develop cancer, there's a very high emotional component, but there's also, you know, that emotional component is coupled with the amount of toxins that you have in the body. If your body is free of toxins and your liver is functioning properly, you have a self-healing mechanism that is strong and you're not going to be, you're going to be resistant to disease. At this point in time, you've already taken your tumor out. They, you know, you've, you're already stating to me that you're going to be on chemotherapy pill for a while. There is nothing, if you were to come see me, I would, like when I had a cancer clinic in 1998, we had all different types of cases and we were using all different types of modalities. The thing that worked the best was cleansing, 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 cleansing. You could, you, you know, you cannot give people a bunch of herbal medicine or, you, or a bunch of cancer, uh, anti-cancer medications or whatever, all natural. And I'm talking about high-tech stuff like laetrile, cesium chloride, you know, ozone, stuff like that, until the body is cleansed. The first thing I would recommend, Mike, is cleansing, cleansing, cleansing. I would personally, start, if it was me, I would start off with a six-day advanced oxygen cleanse. I would do a minimum of three. I would probably do up to nine liver and gallbladder cleanses. I would do a harmful organism cleanse. I would do a chemical and heavy metal cleanse. And I would just keep cleansing. And at that point, I would reevaluate and start getting on some good supplementation at that point. Um, there's a lot of people that can help you with supplementation. Uh, but here's the deal, Mike. There's always hope. There's always hope. If you do everything that you need to do, if you cleanse the body and just keep cleansing and cleansing and cleansing, hopefully, you know, your cancer will never come back and you will be able to beat this in a, in a natural way. And that way you, you wouldn't need to take any of the chemotherapy pills anymore. I would definitely recommend getting with a good qualified natural health care practitioner. We have a list of the, uh, a lot of very successful cancer clinics down in Mexico. I've personally worked with and trained under many of the doctors that are down in Mexico doing uh, the natural medicine for not only cancer but all sorts of uh, diseases. So, so uh, I just want to let you know there's always hope, and I would definitely start with a cleansing regimen and continue cleansing. Thanks, Mike.